Hey y'all, heading out to uh, Hudson's Rod and Customs to shoot the uh, 47 panel. Uh, you, some of you may have seen it, it's been out to a few shows and uh, it's just been busy, hectic. It's been out, I've been out, so it's been hard to catch up with, but today's the day. So uh, let me get Will run down and we'll take a look at it. Billy, how are you, brother? Good, Scotty, how are you? Not too bad, tell me a little bit about this hot rod. It's a 47 panel street rod. This truck, uh, you've been working on uh, a little while? Yeah, yeah, just we, got it done. What last year? Yeah, end of yeah last it was year? a yeah end of last year when we got it finished. Have you made any body mods to it? Yeah, we pancaked the hood, uh, sl slicked the door handles off. Tell me, let's start out here in the front. Tell me about pancaking that hood. To, to those that don't know, that's not something you eat for breakfast. What what is it? the hood's been flattened? Yeah, we actually took a big section out of the hood, about three and a half inches out of the hood, and raked it forward. Gotcha. To give it more of a sleek look in the front take a little bit of the uh, nose out of it and a little swollenness it's, out of it yeah. exactly yeah. yeah and then uh is that all stock up front you've painted it but is that was that the way it would have been back then yeah everything's the way it would have been back then uh the only thing we did to this whole truck was the hood and the shave the door handles that's it that's it yep made all the gaps match yeah made them made them better than what they was right right and then it's riding on air yeah it's all on uh all full ride tech suspension mustang two front end four length rear stock chassis uh yeah it's stock chassis there and then we put a front uh heights front clip in it and what size wheels are you running on it they're they're 20s in the rear and 18s in the front still looks good thanks i like that and then you added the pinstripe since the last time i seen it and i really think that helps out quite a bit yeah because the thing was it, it, it was just a lot of one color and we wanted something to break it up to tie in the wheels the bumpers and all the trim pieces it's just little and but yet it, i think it does i think exactly what it does yeah the customer he was he didn't think he wanted any pinstripes and he still may not but they were <laughs> on there and yeah everyone compliments on that so i think it was a good it was a good move yeah to now, the truck what about these tail lights uh he actually had them uh, they're like a billet specialty tail light, and we just all we did was actually cut them in and flush them in a little bit. And where the license plate goes, that's where it would have been. Well, no, not on that. We actually recessed that in for it. Okay. So you did more. Work. You might have to go back and rebuild this guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> yeah, it, it got into a little bit more than even what he wanted. It's still a driver. He'll drive it every day. And uh, with that, that there, he just, you know, it kind of went further as we went on. That's the way these things work, isn't it? You stop in to get an oil change at a hot rod shop. Next thing you know, they're building you a new car. Yeah, that's about how it goes. <laughs> no chop, no rake, nothing else. Just pancake the hood. Took the, the door handles off of it. That's it. And then what color is that? It's actually off of a, a 2013 Range Rover, but it's got the PPG flat clear on it. Boy, that's tough stuff to work with. Yeah, the flat's hard. You get one shot at it. If you get a speck of dirt in it, you're starting over, or you got something you don't like, or you get a nick or a scratch, you, it'll be hard to come back. That's it. Yeah, yeah it's, no, it's done at that point. With people that don't know, regular clear, you put it on there, you get a little dirt in it, you come back and sand it, buff it, and get it out of there. Exactly, yeah. You're not sanding and buffing this stuff. No, with this, it's, it's what it is. And then you got to get it laid down right, too. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, right? it's yeah, gonna be it, flowed right so it lays flat and it's one shot like you said when you get yeah. done you get to come out and see if you hit it or not that's right yeah and then you all did the interior and everything in here yeah scotty we we're lucky enough to do everything in house so with that being said we chopped him up a seat here and did uh hardwood floors it's actually bruce hardwood floors from lowe's holy cow and the floor mats if you look close they're flush mounted in dude that's sweet that is really nice we dude. had that routered out and flushed in and then we just built some custom seal plates there and right just wanted everything black and actually ran a real clean just pinstripe on the dash it's hard gloss. to see but we did yeah it's gloss. flat but then it's gloss i yeah, see that something and then you it. got the black vintage air yes exactly we, he wanted everything black and so we ran with it right dude i love that floor mat though because like you know a delivery is a utility type truck so you would think a rubber floor mat how are you going to make that look cool and dude you nailed it thank you yeah that yeah. looks that looks high price you know what i'm saying i don't know what i'm trying to say there very classy looking very cool thank you I like the door panels too. Do those mat pockets open? No, they're just actually just they're just on there for show. They look good. Thank you. It'd be you've done them before and they've worked. So yeah, yeah, yeah. we usually make them work, but on this here, right. uh, the door is actually contoured if you look at it, and we wouldn't want the pocket to be poofy and pushed into the seat. So we just we just played this one off on this I one. I gotcha. And then you use what like some kind of felt here on the door panel? Yeah, this is just a wool um, that we use a lot in headliners, and we found that it's, it's a cool accent to door panels. Gives it a little something to break it up. No, it looks good. And then the gauges. Who made those? That's Classic Instruments, and they did all the, that's actually a 48 style 
cluster for the pickups, but we got the black rings, black housings, and they did all the copper and stuff there, classic instruments for us. They always do us good work. And then it's got a tilt wheel on it. Yes, it's actually got an identic column uh, with with the intro wheel to match the rims, and we just shot everything black and had right. the steering wheel pinstriped. Oh, I love that. I like that leather, too. Is that that cool touch leather? Yeah, that's yeah. exactly what it is, yep. That stuff's awesome. Yeah. yeah, you can get in on a hot day and right. still sit down and don't burn you to death. That's the craziest thing in the world, but it's true. Yep. Hey, you inlaid that mat back here, too. Yeah, yeah, and actually for the C-notch in there, for when it sets all the way down, right. instead of just having a hump, we wanted to, didn't see the hump, but we wanted to make like a fake drawer pull out right. and kind of make it look, you know, usable. Sure. But we flushed everything out and went, we actually did all the hole punches and stuff, just for something for kind of a clean, more modern design. And then you use that felt on the uh, sides too. Yes, yeah. yes, just to tie everything in from the headliner because that's a that's a long headliner to pull at one time. No, to make it all one piece. Man. No, that's nice. And then you say that wood is what? It's actually Bruce hardwood. You could get it like Lowe's, Home Depot, stuff like that. And we just went in and bought that and had it planed and stained. And uh, we had the floor mat routered out and glued that in. And and you made uh, you made the air cleaner box yourself. Yeah, we wanted to, we wanted something to hide all the stuff down there with it being carbureted. So that kind of just comes in and, and hides everything. But we wanted it to kind of stay with the the roof line of the the panel. Oh wow, I like that brace too. Oh sweet. Yeah, that's something we like to do here. We like to hide all the all the ugly that we can. And these hoods were seamed together, so we wanted something. So we just built that and put dimple dies in it very cool and I, I liked it the fact that you don't have a lot of cover although it's custom like the inner fenders look really clean and the firewall looks really clean it's not all covered on top of the motor it's actually the motor just sitting there yeah know? it goes back to where he wanted to drive it and if he wanted to be able to work on it or something happened that he needed to do something and we tried to leave everything open for him to do did you set the motor down at all or is that where it would have been that, that's where it was at after we put the whole uh, new front suspension in Dude, that's beautiful, nice. That's Thank you. I like that. Thank you. He likes to drive them, so we just we just kind of kept it simple. And you all build them to drive them. Yeah. You can yeah. have either you can have a trailer queen or you can have a road queen. That's right. Yeah. So we, I'm going to give you whatever yeah, you want. Yeah. We baby. we did both styles, and the guy here, uh, we've actually got a couple more that we're doing for him, but but he drives them and enjoys them. Man, that is just nice. Like I said, I love how so clean and simple it looks, and it looks like just anybody. It doesn't look like there's anything that could go wrong because no. there's nothing. You know, it's just a motor. It's just, yeah, right? just simple, just yeah. a simple. No, very nice. And then all that, all your. Uh, runners in the front being gloss black and all yeah that's just a vintage air front runner we like using their stuff it pulls it in and keeps everything nice beautiful man give you that uh give you that walk around try not to get snake bit out here in the field <laughs> uh, i like coming to the country but i'm scared to death of snakes and i'm in tall grass so anyways that's a good looking truck sitting all the way on the ground the satin paint on it Big fan of uh, Hudson's work, Willie, Homer, the rest of them. Just great guys, build good cars, take good care of their clients, got the philosophy, they got the passion, and uh, I brag on Willie's eye all the time for design. As a matter of fact, if you don't know, he's uh, he's the one that designed the wrap for the Mustang, because I knew when I needed that, he would be the one that could get it right, and he did. A lot of pictures taken, a lot of people's thumbs up, and uh, that's my car, this is this guy's car, and I think it turned out really nice. Will, again, beautiful job, brother. Thank you, Scotty, appreciate it. Anybody we need to give a shout out to? Yeah, uh, Brent, the owner of this for letting us build it, and the guys in the shop, uh, Homer, Mike, and Wayne, for everybody just to stays late and helps out to make this happen that's what happens and it? it ain't about a paycheck brother. yeah no it, it ain't a it ain't an eight hour day for yeah, none of us that's right so yeah so and all everybody that stays around and helps out we appreciate that again beautiful job all right thank you scotty what would you say it. it was it's a 47 panel truck 47 panel truck from hudson's rod and custom hope you all have enjoyed it see ya